This is uh, Kerry Peters. I'm the president of Coinage LLC in Mountain View, California, and we are the owner of a Robocoin Bitcoin ATM kiosk at Hacker Dojo in Mountain View. You can come down here and go from start to finish, from never owning Bitcoin six minutes later to having Bitcoin and a private key. And then you can go ahead and do with what you would like with that Bitcoin. I can walk you through the buy process here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, so you'd walk over to the machine, you'd go ahead and press buy. I'm gonna enter in my private cell phone number. So I'm just gonna turn my back to you here. Uh, just uh, don't wanna have you uh, give that out. But uh, once you enter your cell phone number, uh, you would go ahead and enter your PIN, which is text to you instantaneously. And it's a three-step process. We go ahead and we take uh, a palm print. Uh, so we take your hand, you put it in here, it scans your palm, and within a couple of times, uh, it takes that palm print, it takes your driver's license, and it creates, if you will, biometrically, uh, with a picture right here, the picture, the driver's license, and the palm scan. And we want to make sure that we're adhering to federal laws, uh, anti-money laundering laws, know your customer laws. Uh, you can create the account and then go ahead, take out a dollar bill, insert a dollar bill. I'm going to go ahead and put my wallet down here and grab a dollar. And within a second or so, we're going to generate a wallet. This wallet has your private key on it. When you have a private key, you don't want to give away that private key. Uh, with Bitcoin, you have what's called a public key and a private key, just like you want to give me your bank account number. Uh, private is private. Public is public. Public, you can go ahead and send me an email and uh, send me Bitcoin to my public key. So I just put in a dollar, and I'm going to go ahead and press finish, and that easy, start to finish, in about 20 seconds, I just bought Bitcoin. So uh, what would you say to somebody that, that uh, maybe has a problem with doing like a hand scan or putting in, a, you know, sensitive information? Because it seems like some of the allure around Bitcoin and uh, uh, just cryptocurrencies in general is the, is the fact that there's anonymity involved. Um, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, it's a, great, it's a great question. I mean, what I do with the Bitcoin afterwards uh, is completely anonymous. It's, it's just algorithms. Uh, what I buy, it's not tracked uh, at all. But, you know, there is a, a kind of a, a meetup at some point. Technology, Bitcoin, anonymity. You need to, to bridge that gap, if you will. You've got to cross that chasm uh, and regulation is unfortunately where we're at. Uh, the federal government, we want to make sure that people are not terrorists. We want to make sure that individuals are walking up to this kiosk. Uh, we're taking their picture. We're scanning their IDs. We're taking their palm print. We're running it against 15 to 18 different databases. We want to make sure that they're not on a terrorist watch list or that they're doing money laundering. So just like you would a bank, uh, we want to make sure that we know our customers and an individual can come up here the first time that data is stored with RoboCoin at their servers, nothing is stored here at the kiosk. I mean, Hacker Dojo is just the perfect place uh, to have the machine here in their public lobby. Uh, the facility, if you're a member, it's open 24 seven for the general public. You can walk in here any morning from eight or nine o'clock in the morning up till 10 o'clock at night right here in the lobby at Hacker Dojo. I think it's important for people to understand where we are with Bitcoin right now. Uh, Bitcoin kind of went through that first chapter. Uh, that chapter is closed. Uh, all of the past issues, it's important for people to understand that Bitcoin is on the second chapter now. That chapter is talking about trust. It's building up the ability for an individual to come here, buy or sell Bitcoin in a matter of minutes, and go ahead and use it as they choose to use it. RoboCoin kiosks are available worldwide. Coinage LLC operates the kiosk at Hacker Dojo in Mountain View, California, which is available to the public 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., seven days a week. For more information, visit RoboCoinKiosk.com or HackerDojo.com.